Hi, I'm Barry Young. I'm here to talk to you today about drill sharpening. We're going to show you some things that you should avoid. We're going to show you some things you should do. Then I'm going to show you some drills made by a master craftsman and an everyday Joe on a drill sharpening machine. So let's go take a look at those drills. When I put the drill against the gauge and hold it up to the light, you can see that the amount of space between the drill and the gauge gets narrower as you move towards the center of the drill. That means the center of the drill needs to be ground more than the outside of the drill. Notice the distance from here to here is hitting about 11 and a half on this scale. Now when I turn the drill over, we got it about 12. So, grind the short side, it'll make it longer. It's not going to take much in this circumstance. That's how you use this scale on here. That centers the center of the drill. If you don't get the chisel tip directly in the center of the drill, the drill will drill oversize. This is uh, an example of what not to do when grinding the primary clearance. Notice that it is on an angle in a negative way. This grind should actually be positive so that the cutting lip here can actually enter the material. Right now, if you tried to drill with this, it would hit here and it would never penetrate the material. So let's get a positive angle. Another common problem is all these facets. Let's see if I can show you these facets. Uh, it's difficult to see but as you can see there's about a seven or eight or twelve different cuts on this drill. I'm going to show you how to make that all one solid cut. So it'll only have one. Here's a facet, there's a facet, here's a facet, everywhere a facet, facet. Okay. So avoid that. This drill bit has been used to cut a hole that was pre-drilled with a smaller hole. This is one of the reasons that I recommend against that. See the big chip in the cutting lip of this drill? If you don't pre-drill, guess what? That doesn't happen. You do need to pre-drill uh, enough to clear this web. So your pilot hole should be a little bit bigger than the web of this drill but this was used to enlarge a hole and it knocked the big gouge out. This is going to take a tremendous amount of grinding to make right. This is an example of what I would consider a perfectly ground uh, hand, hand grind drill. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, this was done by a guy I work with, and he rocks. He's absolutely great at it. And by the way, it measures perfect. Okay, now this is the way you and I can get that. With a Derex drill sharpener uh, or a drill doctor. The drill doctor doesn't do quite this good a job, but for people in amateur home workshops, the drill doctor does a tremendous job, and I can highly recommend it. Look at this beautiful split point. I mean, it's exactly on center. This is going to cut into the material easily, penetrate. It's a beautiful thing. But this is on a $1,500 Derex drill sharpener, so not all of us can afford that, like me, for instance. Okay, so now let's look at how to hand sharpen a drill. 